Welcome to another program in the Performing Arts series produced by the Prince William County Public Schools and the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts Center in Washington, D.C. I'm Elena, your narrator for the program. Today, we want to share with you a few songs and dances from Mozambique. Mozambique is in southern Africa, bounded in the north by Tanzania, in the, in the east by the Mozambique Channel of Indian Ocean, and in the south and southern west by Swazilandia, on the west by Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi. The company was founded in 1979, has an amateur dance group, and became professional in 1983. Its major goals are to collect, preserve, and value through public performances the major expressive art forms of dance, music, and theater of the various ethnic groups of Mozambique. Artists are selected from among the best performers in each of the 10 nations' provinces. This group consists of 50 people. The touring assemble has appeared in Africa, Europe, and Latin America, totaling more than 30 countries. The company's first appearance in the United States was at the Kennedy Center this week in Washington, D.C. The artist director and founder of the company is Mr. David Abilio. He is also a choreographer for the company. The orchestra includes an instrument called timbila, which is an original instrument of Mozambique and can be found in just one specific place in the country. You will have an opportunity to hear how this instrument sounds later on. First, you will hear and see a luta continua. It is choreographed by Joala Zoller, artist director for the Urban Bush Women in New York-based company. It reflects the search for an identity by African Americans. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next selection is Chigogoro, a song in the sharp dialect featuring instrument which includes the timbila. The song is about a lazy young man who does nothing but chasing after beautiful women.
Thank you. Next, we have Shigubu, a warrior dance from the southern part of Mozambique. It was practiced as military preparation by the warriors or as a celebration of military victories. last dance, Semba, which is a love dance from the central part of Mozambique. Before we start, I would like to remind our viewers that we will be taking calls after this dance at 1-800-578-1396. Thank you. Ananas, Namadangri, Kodoche, 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 Ananas, Namadangri, Kodo
going to give you an opportunity to ask questions of the musicians, dancers, and singers while we are waiting for calls at 1-800-578-1396. Let's see what our audience would like to ask. I'm going to ask Mr. David Abilio, the artistic director of the company, and Mr. Joe Sieve, the business manager of the company, to join me on stage to help translate and answer your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am David Abilio. Thank you. I'm Joseph. Uh, what are the uh, instruments you're using today? Um, I'm going to pass this question to the best person qualified to ask this, answer this question. Uh, come on, Paco. Uh, we're using mainly, I can say, you can hear, as you could hear, the timbila. This is one of our traditional instruments, which is a, a kind of xylophone. It's a all wooden instrument. So it's all wooden instrument, and it has resonators made out of uh, traditional fruits, and we have uh, different type of drums. and. Uh, We now have a call from Texas. Caller, go ahead. Uh, yes. I'd like to know if um, any of your instruments are handmade. Uh, our instruments are handmade. In fact, we have uh, the timbila is all handmade. Like, it's all wood, and we have uh, skins from uh, goat or cow that we use to tie the, the keys together. So all, ma all, all handmade, except for the Western drum that we have there. We will now take uh, calls or a call from the audience. Please go ahead. Um, are the dances that you did today more contemporary or traditional pieces? Yeah, uh, they're both traditional and contemporary. For example, the first dance you saw is contemporary. Uh, like the first dance, for instance, is a contemporary dance. A segunda dança que viram é uma dança tradicional. And the second is actually a traditional dance. Uh, another question? Go ahead. I wanted to ask if each of the dancers could introduce themselves. Yes. Um, my name is Atanasio Nyusi. John. I am Alberto Philip. Shame me down, Veria. My name is Maria Jose. My name is Virgil Sitol. My name is Sandra. My name is Arnaldo Nyansengo. My name is Julio Matombe. My name is Abakar Mulima. My name is Justin Zimba. My name is Lydia Rafael. My name is Eduardo Duran Lamsen. My name is Rolando Alexandre Lamsen. My name is Noé Manjat. My name is Elisa Mari. My name is Abel Fumo. My name is Eugenia Rifalfeu. My name is Guerra André. We now have another call, a call from Roselle, New Jersey. Caller, go ahead. Hello? Yes, hello. What's your question? Yeah, um, what is this? <laughs> this is the National Song and Dance Company from Mozambique. We're now going to take another question from the audience. Please go ahead. Um, what languages are spoken in Mozambique? 
There are many languages in Mozambique, uh, but Portuguese is the main language or the national language, but there are many other dialects. Another question from the audience? Um, I would like to know, when did you decide that you wanted to dance for a living? Uh, the company was actually formed in 1979 as an amateur uh, dance company, but it became professional in 1983. So it was 1983 when they decided they would want to do this for a living. Another question from the audience, please. What other kinds of pieces does the company do? Um, we have many uh, different pieces. We have more than 15 uh, different um, pieces. Uh, and each one of them is a long um, production, about two and a half, two to two and a half hours each. E uh, as obras, uh, algumas são puramente uh, educativas. Uh, in some of them, the pieces are, are simply or purely educational. Como, por exemplo, uh, obras sobre uh, a conservação do meio ambiente. Like uh, pieces that um, uh, focus in the preservation of the um, um, environment. Ou, uh, obras sobre uh, educação cívica nos diferentes temas. And um, pieces uh, that focus on public education in various... Civic education. Uh, sim. In various aspects. E, bom, e peças de entretenimento. And entertainment pieces. Uh, we have another call now from um, Manassas, Virginia. Uh, Carl, are you there? Yes, I'm here. What's uh, your question, sir? My question is, is it hard to learn all of those dance moves, and how long did it take you to practice each day? I want to know if it's difficult to learn the dances. And how long did you have to train for the day to learn the dances? We have a daily training of 8 hours. And it's very difficult to learn the dances. Yes, it is actually very difficult to learn these moves and dances and so on. And it takes about 8 hours. Yes, it is actually very difficult to learn these moves and dances and so on. And it takes about eight hours a day of practice uh, in order to uh, be able to dance this way. Os bailarinos são bailarinos, quer dizer, previamente treinados para praticar este tipo de danças. The dancers are prepared in advance physically uh, in order to perform these dances later on. Another call, call from the audience. We'll take a call from the audience, the audience now. Um, what provinces are the dancers from? They're from um, all the provinces uh, of Mozambique. Mozambique is a state, is a country with 10 different provinces and they come from all over the country. Now I'm gonna take another call, a call from New Jersey. Call, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, what's your question, ma'am? Um, well, first of all, I'd like to tell you I think that the program was absolutely beautiful. Thank I you. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> and I would like to know uh, where the troupe will be performing next. Uh, the troupe will be performing next in New Jersey. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> On the 6th and 7th of uh, March. And I hope you can join us there. And where in New Jersey? At the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. We'll take another question from the audience. Go ahead. I would like to know if any of your names, names mean anything special. Uh, actually not, but. Okay. Uh, the names are just regular names, just like any other name in, in here. For example, so David. Uh, like an example, his name is David, and it's just a name. So those are just names. And uh, another call from a caller, Florida. 
Call, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, can I have your question, please? Sure. I would like to know at what age you could start doing dances. Okay. Algumas das pessoas aqui começaram com 9 anos, mas outros começaram um pouco mais tarde. Um, some of them, or most of them, started at like 8 or 9 years old, and uh, some just a little after that. Uh, but that's more or less when they started. Uh, call from the audience. How long have the members of the company been dancing with the company? Uh, again, the company was formed in 1979, and uh, that's when uh, the dancers began to dance with the company. But we have members coming into the uh, uh, dance company from the uh, Mozambican School of, of Music and Dance yeah. um, regularly. Another call? I'm, I'm sorry, another uh, question? What different materials do you, are your clothes made out of? Yeah. Um, most of them are made from fabric, as you can see, and <laughs> uh, and uh, and some from um, animal skin and. Uh, um, Yes. E que temos, portanto, um departamento especial, portanto, de designer que fazem isto aqui na nossa família. Okay. We'll take another call now from uh, Philadelphia. Uh, call, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, can I have your question, please? Uh, yes, I'd like to know what ages are the dancers ranging from? Qual é a idade? Yeah, a idade. Vai de tanto até tanto. Temos pessoas com 19 anos e temos pessoas com 38 anos. Vou começar de 20 para cima. Não é melhor? 19. Yeah. Oh, 19, né? Yeah. We have dancers from... The ages range anywhere from 19 to 35, 38. Ok. We have taken our last question now. And... Uh, on behalf of the uh, entire company, I'd like to thank you uh, for this opportunity uh, to share a little bit of our culture for Mozambique. Now, for schools in New Jersey, I'd like to let you know that we'll be performing at the uh, New Jersey Performing Arts Center um, on March 6th and 7th in New Jersey, and I hope uh, you can join us. Now, the Prince William Network and the Kennedy Center are pleased to bring you on uh, March 25th with Poet Has Performer, where award-winning poet um, named Naomi Nye will be performing. She will perform and um, discuss and interact with students about how poetry impacts their everyday lives. Now, prior to the program, you may want to visit the Kennedy Center's um, website at the address shown on your screen. Thank you very much. As we leave, we would like to sing a traditional song from Mozambique.